I'm Austin. Are you getting a mustache? Dad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, Dad, I will throw your camera right now. I'm gonna go delete it. No, I won't, I won't use it, I promise. Dad, no. I promise. I don't. I absolutely. No. I'm Austin. I'm Alex. And today we're gonna show you the difference between these three bottles. But first, we're gonna show you what happens to a Michelin tire when you put 300 pounds of air pressure in it. Oh, it bent the rim. Holy crap, it didn't even pop the tire. It bent the rim. <laughs> Michelin tires are stronger than steel. So that wasn't the outcome we were expecting. I think we'll give it another shot Wait. on a future video, maybe with 400 pounds of air pressure. Falcon tire. I'm thinking of Falcon tire. So once we decided that scuba tanks were not the way to go, we got into running CO2 bottles. We like running the CO2. You got lots of air right when you need it. If your buddy has a flat, you can pull this out of the Jeep. You can take it up three or four Jeeps ahead and you've got your hose and you're there, you're ready, you got air. So these are both 10 pound CO2 tanks. This one, is a smitty built. Um, Pack Tank also makes a nice one. But what happens when you buy these nice tanks with the handles and everything, you can't just go to your local welding shop and exchange it, um, which is very frustrating because you're limited on the amount of places that you can have this filled. However, if you go to your local welding shop and you pick up a private CO2 tank, which is this, you can take this tank to any welding shop and have it exchanged right there on the spot. They'll give you a full one, just like you're doing your oxygen settling bottles, and you're out the door. You can also, if you don't have a welding shop nearby, or you're out and about somewhere and they've only got a fire extinguisher place, you can have this tank filled. So you've got way more options of this tank getting filled than you do this tank. Because I'm not just gonna drop this tank off and take an exchange and never go back and get this tank. Well, you guys are probably asking, how do you know how much CO2 is in your bottle? To find out how much you still have left in your bottle, you want to weigh it before you use it, and then as you start using it more and you want to find out how much you still have left, you should weigh it again, and then you can do your math and figure out where it is. All right, so check out Maverick Welding Supply, downtown Oregon City. I'll leave links and phone number below. Um, they can hook you up with the CO2 bottle and a regulator. So thank you for watching. Please comment down below what you want us to check out next and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Alex. I'm Austin. And we are Fairly, Fairly Honest. Honest. Did you fart? <laughs> There's no one else here to blame it on. <laughs> and today we're gonna show you the difference of these three bottles. The difference of the, the difference between these three bottles. I'm going to show you the difference of these three bottles. Between these three bottles. Yes. I don't think anybody cares about what they're exhaling. Dad, it's just some information. <laughs> I don't think anybody cares about that information. Everyone cares. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below if you care to know that you breathe out CO2.